to be continued. Yeah. Um, yeah. So calling him, leaving him messages, asking him to be an adult and actually speak to me about this because, oh, well, he knew it wasn't right. He knew it wasn't the thing to do, but he didn't care. He saw $65,000, $70,000 and said, yeah, screw them. I don't care what I promised these people before they died. I'm just going to take the money and run. So I called him. Can we be adults? You know this isn't right. I don't want every single penny. You deserve a little bit because you were there for them at certain points when, yeah, whatever. But, yeah, to leave nothing for the actual people who are in the will to take every goddamn penny and leave the two people who were the only ones who cared for this man at the end of his life, apparently. Nobody else would come to visit. Nobody else would take care of him. But we didn't do this for money, but for the love of God, I did expect that there would be some sort of closure at the end, and it's been almost a year now. Zero closure, thanks to this asshole. Yeah, his name is Nigel. Not allowed to give out his last name. Oops, sorry, sweetheart. Oh, hold on. He's gonna be you're gonna be a bum, aren't you? You're gonna be a big bum. Yes, my dear. We have more for you. Don't worry. So yeah, heck on. Must be adults. Shout, give me a call, give me a call. Well, that asshole went to the police and said, She's harassing me. Well, I'd been in my right mind at that point, I probably would have told the cop, told the cop to say, well, tell him if he wasn't such a fucking asshole, I wouldn't be calling him. If he'd done the right thing, if he'd done what mom and dad wanted in the first place, I wouldn't be calling him. And I wouldn't be letting him know that, by the way, one of the people that you're pissing off here, he's got a really bad temper and a permanent home at the jails. So, you pissed off the wrong guy with that. He's got your address. He's got your phone number. And uh, whatever happens, happens. Actions, consequences. But apparently, warning him that there is a very, very violent person who might want something to, uh, might want to talk to him about something. That is me harassing him. No, dude. That's me warning you that this guy is vicious, he's dangerous, and he's pissed off. And you are the subject of why he's pissed off. So, no, I have no idea how to contact him. I can't get in touch with him. And even if I could, I would not. Oh, good one. So, yeah, at this point, I really hope he does find Nigel. I hope he finds Nigel and I hope he beats the ever-loving crap out of him. It's not going to happen. He doesn't have enough brain cells left to actually get on a bus and do something, so. He knows he can't drive, because he's an idiot. But, anyhow. So that's what's been going on with my life, guys. Perfectly frank, I think I'd rather be out here in the storm with you guys. <laughs> get another couple of months with no money, and I might actually be out here with you guys. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So, anyhow. So, this is my pony, friends. Hello, buddy. And it's really cold out here, so I would pet you, my love. But right now, I think my fingers would do much what these carrots are doing and just snap right off. We had kittens, too. We did. We had a bunch of them. Four beautiful little babies. And they went to new homes. Well, three of them did. We kept one of the babies, but anyhow. Okay, I'm going to turn this recording off and finish giving these guys carrots and get in the car because my fingers are freezing. Freezing. Yes, I know. Here you go. Here's one for you. And that one's gone. Okay. One, two, three little carrots. Three little carrots. Hello, ponies. Oh, yeah, people come. I know, I'm just going to put the bag in my pocket. Hold on. Oh, I can't get the bag in my pocket, so I'll shove it down my shirt. It's all right. Ain't nobody goes in either of those places. 
It's all good. Okay, pick up. <laughs> no, dude. Dude, no bumski. Don't be bumski. There you go. Oh, good one. Here you go, beautiful. Little one for you. Yes, the little one's for you. And we give the big bumski the big pieces. Right? Yes, because you're a big bumski. All right. Guys, we got a whole little patch of carrots down here now. So, good girl. Yeah, okay, this is it. We got these two left. That's it. Got that? Yep. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. There you go. And here you go, gorgeous. Good girl. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yes, I know you're a handsome boy. Who's a handsome boy? Is that you? Yes, it is. Chomp. You can do it. Good boy. Okay, sweetheart. This is the last bite for you, okay? There you go. Good job. Okay. Last one. There you go. All right, guys. Let's pick up a couple of these pieces. There's one. There's one. Cold, cold, cold. Cold, cold, cold. And there's one. Alrighty. So let's just put these down here. There's that. Oops. Oops. Okay. Gosh dang it. Okay, one more bite, guys. Come on, hurry up. I gotta get in. My fingers are freezing. Dude, here, one more. Last piece. Last piece for you. Here you go. Whoa. And it went down. I know. Okay. She's not getting your last piece. All right. I'm getting a little pissed off here, guys. Let's just try, okay? Try. See, now it's covered in snow. There you go. Little piece for you. Little piece for you. All right. You guys be good, all right? I will come back again soon. I promise. I do. I promise. Okay? Yes. Who's a good boy? The a good boy. Yes. Okay. That's it. Back to the car. Turn around. Back home. Hope like hell I don't die. Okay.